Hey, what's up guys and welcome to 2019. Holy shit, 2019. Last update video was September 2018. I'm sorry. I I feel I feel a lot of a lot of regret. Um I feel like I've let a lot of people down. Um and that's one of the reasons why this video is 7 days into the new year. This is the first video I'm, and, I, and I've mentioned this for people that's been around the channel. This is my, my eighth year. I'm going on eight years doing YouTube. And every year I do an update video. First of the year, uh, we go over things that we did throughout the year. And then we talk about things that are coming up throughout the coming year. So that's what this video is. Um, but it's it's taken me a little while to, to get this done. And... If you watch the September update video, <clears throat> this is going to be very, very similar. Um, so, if you got something else to do <laughs> and you've already watched the September video, uh, this is pretty much going to be the same. Uh, I'm, I'm going to talk about pretty much the same things in this video. Uh, I'm going to try to keep it a lot shorter. And at the end, for those that are interested in the train, uh, we'll go over the train. Uh, other than that, Let's dive right in. Welcome all new subscribers. I know there's not a lot of you. Some of you have left and wouldn't be watching this video right now. But the ones that are here, I really, really appreciate it. Um, again, you guys are my core audience. And 2018 was not a terrible year. Uh, I still did get some things done. It started off pretty, pretty good. Uh, I, I had a couple uh, War Thunder videos and uh, World of Warship. Um, just something to play. I wasn't going to start a series. Um, I wouldn't, it wasn't something that I was going to play all the damn time. I just, it had been a while. I wanted to get in there and, and just, I wanted something different to do. So we got a couple of those. I had the, uh, the islands gameplay and did that with Matt for most of January. Uh, we just had just, you know, just the, uh, the one video, uh, had fun doing that. Um, uh, that got old pretty quick. So we jumped off of that and, uh, I think Matt kind of, had his stuff going on, and then all of a sudden I had, you know, all everything that was starting to unfold at the beginning of the year uh, as far as everything that I talked about in the September update video. And like I said, I'm not going to go into all that stuff again. Just go ahead and watch that video. There's a lot of explanation of a lot of things that have been going on around here, and, and I really, really don't want to, I really don't want to go over it all again. Um, but a lot of the same things still apply. And I will briefly mention them in this video. But anyways, we had the Helicarrier tutorial progress video. <clears throat> the reason that I posted that was, yes, I started working on it. But number two was to show the people that don't understand the time that goes into making a tutorial. Not just the build itself, but the tutorial that would go along with something that fucking insane what it takes just for the little bit that I had got done, uh, it, it, it would kind of, you know, give them something material that they could look at and, and, and visualize. Um, so that, that's why I made that video. I said, I also did have the intention of attempting to make that tutorial. And, and I had, and I had mentioned that and I've, and I'm still mentioning that, that it's, it's a, it's an, overwhelming undertaking to try to get something like that done especially now time's just not there i haven't been back i haven't looked at it I haven't touched it. It, it it's right where it was where that video was i just never got back to it and i know that's upsetting and that's depressing to a lot of people that really really want that build and uh you know it's just me <laughs> i can't i i, I can't do the things that I used to do when I first started this channel. Things were way different back then than they are now. I'm, I'm a grandpa now. <laughs> Those that have been following me, you know, you know, on my Twitter and stuff like that, I've, I've posted all kinds of, you know, uh, you know, pictures of my sons and my son graduating. Um, the, the BLET, you know, they're both, you know, cops now. Um, the the oldest one that we that you know we all started these, these channels together. He's got a baby now. Um, yeah, and and we got a puppy. <laughs> well, he's two years old. He's not really a puppy, but we have you know we have our own dog now. Um, so yeah, I mean things just aren't what they used to be. Several several years ago, when I first started this channel, and and I never really had an end game. 
uh, with the channel. I just I just wanted to build, have fun, and and share what I was building, and never imagined it getting to where it's at right now. Still, you know, creeping slowly up on fifty thousand subscribers. People are still subscribing. That's awesome. Welcome. I appreciate it. Um, you know, even for not posting nothing since. You know, and I'm going to squeeze up there in just a second. I'll find out exactly when the last video I posted, but it's been a while. Um, I really, really appreciate that. That's 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 just amazing. Um, but anyways, let's get back in here. Uh, so anyways, we talked about the Helicarrier Tutorial Progress video. Will it get done? Will it ever get done? I don't know. This year is, is still going to be busy. Oops, I think I'm jiggling the floor and stuff. Sorry about that. <laughs> I get talking with my hands. I get moving. Shit gets... <laughs> this shit just starts moving. Uh, but anyways, we've still got um, the, I guess, you know, the in-laws, family, whatever. Um, well, I'm the in-law. Am I the in-law? Yeah, I'm the in-law. <laughs> I don't know how that family shit works. But anyways, the the girlfriend's son and his family are, are were living in the driveway. Their camper was out there. I talked about that in the September video. They're building a house. We were hoping they would break ground. Uh, around October, and they did not break ground until almost Christmas. Um, it just, like I said, things just didn't pan out. So they've only been working over there for the like, past two weeks. Um, the excavator that they were using broke the track, so they didn't. still have not got a lot of shit done. The trees are just kind of knocked over and pushed into a pile. Um, so, But they, they swear from the time they break ground to the time that the house gets built, it takes five months. So we're looking at May. Um, we're looking at May until um, they get in there, but they're not living in the driveway right now. Um, so, you know, as far as the in and out that was happening just round the clock, well, not round the clock, <laughs> because they don't come over in the middle of the night. I'm just saying, like, throughout the day, just, you know, morning, afternoon, evening, it just, it was a constant revolving door action because they were right here. And again, I'm not complaining. It's just the way it was. And then with the dogs, we was watching the dogs. Well, they moved into her parents uh, for the winter because that thing out there is it's insulated, but it's not, it wouldn't be really great to live in in the winter time. Um, so, anyways, they're not here right now. So, but I still don't really have that time because I'm spending it with grandchildren now. Um, so, as far as the healthcare tutorial, the time just it is is just not there. Um, even if I work on a little bit here and a little bit there and a little bit there. It's going to take a long, long fucking time. Um, so will it happen? I, guys, I don't know. I, I just, I, I can't come up with that answer. I don't want to say no. I, I have a hard time telling you guys no, I do. Um, but this is the closest to a no <laughs> that, that, that I can give you. Um, I want hope. I want to have hope that maybe by the end of the year um, I, can, I can get it done. But I, I look at it and it just, even now I look at it and it still just blows my mind and boggles my mind knowing what it's going to take to get that damn thing done. And, uh, and I just, I don't know if I've got it in me. I, I really don't. Um, so as far as that goes, that that's where it's at. I'm sorry, I don't have nothing more concrete to to give you on that. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I really am. But anyways, moving on, we had the mooring line tutorial. Um, that's... You know, we've been doing that for a while, and I uh, just never really explained how to do it, so we made a tutorial. Had uh, the last, I think one of the last reviews over on Realism Society, um, some houses. We rebuild the Amato, and that was a huge undertaking. That took over a month to rebuild that, and it still was not 100% the way I wanted it. But it turned out fantastic to, to me, and a lot of you too, um, compared to the original version. It's... Again, not exactly... All my builds never get to 100% fruition in my mind where I think they could actually go. If I could, if, if I had time just to sit down, like some of these guys that I see on PMC that's got these just elaborate fucking builds. And most of the ones that post ships are way better than me as far as concentrating on one build. I, I don't want to say they're better than me because I, I think I possess those skills too. I just don't possess the time to put into the build to get that finished product. So I gotta get it, like I said, not just building for my own pleasures, I'm building to make a tutorial. So I have to simplify things. There's things that I have to leave out um, and you know, and I have to look at that when I'm designing the build. So the builds never get to 
this point over here. They get to this point over here. Um, but anyways, so the Yamato got was a very good um, medium point between those two areas. You know, between making a, a, a good tutorial and having a very good end product. Probably one of the best in the seven years on this channel. And in my opinion, uh, again, putting that together until there was one more after that and, and, and that's what's coming up here in a second. So uh, I had an update video on the seven years of building on the Build a Better World. And that's, you know, a lot of shit there. All, everything on my channel revolves around everything in that world. So again, new subscribers, if you haven't seen that, go back and check that video out. That's, that's everything that's happened around this channel in the past seven and a half years. Um, and then finally, the Arizona. The USS Arizona finally came to life. That was one of the, one of the original builds I wanted to do <clears throat> back in the first year I started doing shipbuilding. The reason why I didn't do it is because at the same time, Lord Dacker was building ships. He built the Arizona, just as I was planning on building the Arizona. Well, I didn't want to step on his feet, so I decided to put it off. I was like, well, I'll, I'll, I'll let him have that build. I'll let him have, you know, the views for it, let it take off. And it's got like 800,000 views now. It's, it's amazing. His, that, I don't know, and quite that high, but it's, it's over 500,000. It's, it's one of his, his more, most popular videos. It's done very, very well. And, uh, and, and I let him have that. Um, I, I didn't want to try to come, you know, make a competition there and have, have two of the same one at the same time. I was like, I got plenty of other stuff that I can do. I'll eventually come back to the Arizona. Well, seven years later, I finally made it back to the Arizona. And in my opinion, the wait was worth it. Because it's exactly what I had pictured seven years ago with the skills that I didn't possess seven years ago. So, in my opinion, I got, I got a very, very fantastic build. I'm very happy with it, very pleased with it. And, uh, and a lot of you that, uh, that, that, that did build it uh, enjoyed the build. Less than 6,000 people. Again, compare that to seven years ago if I had dropped that video. Even with the skills that I had possessed then, probably would have been two, three, four hundred thousand 400,000 views. Because that's what I was getting. I mean, look at my old ship tutorials. They suck um, compared to you know, what I've produced last year. Um, the, the, the quality of the build is just, it sucks. It's just, <laughs> uh, yeah, they were easy. They were fun builds and they look pretty cool for the, for the time. Um, but now you look at the quality, the people aren't there. The people aren't there to watch it. The, the, you know, just the builders aren't there to build it. Um, and that's why that, that only ended up with 6,000 views. And the Yamato only ended, uh, I say only, uh, ended up with 17,000 views. Um, and, and I say only because compared to all the other ship, you know, tutorials that I've made, 30, 40, 60, 80, 120, 240, 390,000 views, you know, for some of the ships that I've built in the past, these two are mediocre, you know, to say the least, as far as, um, interaction with people wanting to build it, you know, um, and that says a lot about the community. It says a lot about the game. Uh, it, it says a lot about where we've come from and where we are now. Uh, and, and again, I, and I talked all about that in the September video. And I'm going to touch on it very briefly here in just a second. Um, we finished up the Arizona. Uh, I had a review of the hospital with Yazer. We talked about him quitting in September. He's back. Hello. Yazer's back. Um, and they're, they're building... They're building something. He hit me on Twitter the other day, and I've been so busy I can't remember what it is now. But anyways, they're they're building something on a smaller scale this time. Um, I, I think they're they've realized that you know without the community they can't take a bite that they can't chew. Um, so they're 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 scaling things down, uh, and I think they've they're six to ten builders on average. You know, getting some things done. So maybe we can get uh, you know uh, some you know some kind of a review update video going on over there, maybe in April. Uh, somewhere around there for those that are <laughs> still around the channel um, and still watching 15 minutes in. But anyways, we had a review over there. Um, I did the Arizona Memorial. And again, that was everything that I wanted to do with the Arizona seven years ago. This is what I did at the beginning of the year. I finally got it done. I, if I w was going to build a ship, 
floating, I wanted to build it sunken. That's the only way that I wanted to do it. But again, I didn't have the skills to possess the skills back then to do the sunken ship. Um, and which was another reason why I wasn't quite ready to pull off the Arizona. But I think I think I pulled it off quite well. I'm I'm very pleased with it. Very happy. Like I said, even though it's, you know, not a lot of views, you know, not a lot of people got to dig into that and enjoy that. Um, I think a lot of people that, you know, used to be around the channel at that time, if if this if I could move this back in time and give this to them, they would have just absolutely loved it. But so many people quit. So many people have stopped playing, and a lot of these builds, you know, they just, they never got to see. Um, they unsubscribed, or some of them stay subscribed and just never came back. Uh, and it's understandable. Again, a burnout. It's, 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 it all revolves around a burnout. We had the 1.13 texture pack update. It was just an update, uh, the pack, that was it. Um, I didn't, I don't think I added any new blocks. I just basically, you know, they, they, they fucked with the code. Um, changed a bunch of naming in, in the pack and it wouldn't work. It was a complete fucking pain in the ass. Uh, but because the M4K pack has, has been the, the staple, the um, you know the main pack of this channel, I, I want to keep it updated for everybody. And, and I'm going to try real hard to keep it updated when 114 comes out, um, which we have no idea when that's going to be. Um, it, it could be sometime this year, could be sometime next year. You know, I know when we, when we got the 113 update, that was almost two years between updates um and again we talked about that being uh, and actually a pretty good damn update for the survivor people not the builders well surprise we're going to get a builder's update finally um it's probably not the one that we all dreamed about seven years ago um and it's definitely not one that i'm dreaming about now it's not a game changer it's not going to bring a lot of people back because they've been gone too long um, they've been burned out like myself for too long. It's just, it's not gonna, it, it's not gonna breathe life back into Minecraft. People aren't gonna just run back. Oh my God, there's a builder's update. We're gonna get slabs and stairs and, and we're gonna have this big rush of, you know, 2014 era Minecraft. It's not gonna happen. Um, there, there, there might be a kick in the ribs for three to four weeks. And people are gonna come back and they're gonna re remember why they left the game because it, it got boring it, there's just uh, there was other stuff to do um it, it's sad uh that you know games just for <laughs> for minecraft to go this long is very impressive people are still playing the game i'm not saying people aren't playing the game there's still a lot of there's still a handful of channels that are that are doing quite quite well um not as well as 2014 era um they're at a maybe a fourth of you know the uh the the viewers and uh the the interaction like they were several years ago before adpocalypse hit and fucked everybody like me up and other games came out and took the wind out of minecraft um but it's still there people are still still going back to it from time to time to fill in on things um so like i said i'm, I'm not saying it's dead i'm just saying it's just not what it used to be and that's that's the life of games but to have Minecraft go that long is without losing its legs within a year, um, you know, take Ark. I mean, it just blew up, and everybody was playing Ark when it came out. And, uh, and it, it was like you turned around the next day and it was gone. It just it was, wasn't on people's channels. The, the next thing was here. And, um, but Minecraft is, has been around. It's, it's, it's been trudging through the trenches for, for the past eight years in a half year because I, I jumped in about a year after it started um but anyways uh as as far as as the future goes 1.14 is it's just not going to be a game changer guys i just i don't see it it's too much too late that that wow that excitement um everything that that made minecraft in the beginning that magic is in my opinion gone and it's been gone for several years um, just because that's how games work, um, they you know they're they're magical, they're awesome, they're exciting, and then something else better comes along, and and people move on, and then you know that game you know will always hold a special place in their heart, you know just like me, you know I mean I started gaming back on the Commodore 64 for Christ's sake, and most of you don't even know what the fuck that is, um, on floppy discs. You know, we, you know, we played these, just these cheesy ass games that, that, that you wrote from a book. 
the, you know, that it was, and then it moved into the Atari system, and then the Sega, uh, and then the Nintendo, you know, the ones that, that drove the Xbox era, that, that drove most of <clears throat> the younger generation that, you know, that's, that's probably watching, you know, this video, um, you know, a lot of you guys, that's where it came from, that's where I came from, and those games, yeah, they don't, I wouldn't play them now, yeah, I mean, even I mean that's why I don't I don't have one of them retro machines. I've got emulators on my computer that I ain't touched in probably 15 years. It's got Dig Dug, it's got Pac Man, it's got Galaga, it's got Zaxxon. Um, for some day down the road, I might get a wild hair up my ass to play it for a whole 10 minutes just for that nostalgia feeling, just to be like, man, I remember the day, you know, because that that particular game brings back memories. That don't involve that game. Just like Minecraft will, will trigger memories for a lot of you watching this, this video. Even now, I've talked to people now that have come back just in the last month. I've got several people that stopped back by just to say, Hey, Jag, I remember doing this video eight years ago. I was 13 years old. And, you know, that brought back memories of you know, friends that I made online that I still have now that we do other stuff with that I grew up with. Um, and, and it, and it created, you know, memories, uh, you know, smells will create memories. We'll bring memories back. Um, games do the same thing. It sets off an, an inner sensory thing that I can't explain. I'm not a doctor. I'm not a physicist or physicist or whatever the fuck you call them or, you know, whatever, but it, it, it triggers something in your mind. It's not the game, or it's not the food, or it's not the, you know, whatever. It's the memories that it created, that, that, that it brought around it. And that's what Minecraft has done, has done over the years. And that's why it's, it, it's, it's always going to hold a special place to me. Because I've got you guys, the ones that still sit here 22 minutes in, listen to Jag, like I always say, well, this is going to be a short video, 22, 40 minutes in. <laughs> it's not a short video anymore. Um, it's just, it's just friends talking. That's what we're doing right now, guys. This ain't an update video. This is friends talking. The update were, was for the ones that sat through the first five, six minutes and then left, um, because they didn't, they didn't hear what they wanted to hear. The rest of you that are sitting here right now, that's a friendship. That's a community that, that I've built, uh, that I'm, that I'm proud of. Um, and that, you know, will probably be there for, for decades, a lot of you will grow up with me, continuing on whatever I do, even if it's one video a year or one video every six months. And I try, I try real hard not to do that, guys. Um, you know, I want to come back. I miss you. I miss making videos. I miss talking to you um, and just seeing how everybody's doing. I miss that. I miss that. You know, uh, yeah. That. <laughs> I miss that fucky fucky in the comment sections. Um, it means a lot, you know, and if and it's. And like I said, and that's that's where I started this video. That's where I feel bad. I feel like I've let people down um, because I didn't continue, you know, bringing that um, that 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 sense of community. And and I feel like I left and I didn't say anything. But I mean, I did. But I didn't. I don't know. I just there's so much in my mind, guys. And that's why I couldn't do this update video because my mind is still scattered. There's still things that I can't. I don't have the answers to. You know, what am I going to do this year? I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Will it be, will, will I have more Minecraft videos? I don't know. You know, how do you, how do you do an update video when you don't know what you're going to update? How do you, how do you do a, a, a yearly beginning update like I've done for the past seven years? Man, this is what we're going to do this year, guys. I've already got it laid out. I've already got planned. I've got, you know, you know, everything wrote down on the pieces of paper over here or whatever. I don't have that this year. I don't. And, um. And like I said, that's where I feel like I've let everybody down. You know, there, that's where I feel like, um, you know, I, I don't know. I just don't, I don't have answers. And, you know, how do you, how do you approach a community that you've been, you know, around for this long uh, that, you know, the, the, you know, depend on you and they, you know, they, you know, wait for things and um, they grow with you and, you know, they expect things and whatever. And then you come to them and say, well, I don't have nothing. I don't have nothing planned. Um, that's hard. That's real hard. This is probably one of the hardest videos, up, you know, not, not right now, that, that I've done. Because I don't, I don't have any plans. I don't have any answers. Um, 
the time will probably be there. It's starting, it'll start to loosen up here as we get into the year. Am I going to go back to Minecraft and build? I don't know. Do I miss it? Sure. But am, do I miss it enough where I've actually opened the game up in the past seven months? Nope. I haven't. Not since, uh, not since June of last year when I did the uh, memorial tutorial. And then I, I, I messed with it in August just to update the pack, and that was it. And I, I have not opened the game since. Haven't honestly have not thought about opening the game. Um, that that's how much I guess I just I've had enough. I've burned out. I'm like this. I'm just I'm done. Um, so that that's what I'm saying. I don't know. There's a big part of me that yeah that wants to keep doing it. That that wants to keep playing it. But there's another part of me that just doesn't have the 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 I don't know. God, I, I fucking lost for words, guys. Like the, you know the drive. Like that's what I that my passion. There we go. I just I just don't have the passion right now, and I don't know how to get it back, and I don't know if I will get it back. So that's me being as just as raw honest as I can, guys. I just I, I, right now I've got nothing. Um, I know the core community, you're not going anywhere. You're not going to uh, uh, unsubscribe because of this video. Um, you just, you know, when you see something, you're going to jump on it and be like, hey, Jag's back. And, and I fucking love that. It's going to be awesome. Um, but until then, guys, take care. Enjoy yourself. Get outside. Get away from the computers. Get away from the gaming system. Spend time with family because that's where the memories are going to be. You, though, that's where the solid core memories are going to be. Yeah, we've made, I've talked about, yeah, we've made memories here and, you know, and that too. But a lot of it is just, you're killing your bodies. You're, you're killing your mind. Be, get out, be creative, work, play the guitar, find something that you can share with other people in real life that they can physically touch, they can physically grab onto and, you know, create them new, you know, them new memories. <clears throat> That, that you can look back on. And um, I mean that's that's why I do what I do. Um, because I like sharing. I like I like creating those things. Um, and that's why I started the train hobby. So that you know I can touch it. I can share it with the grandchildren. They can get involved. You know, we can make memories physically, you know, touching the train the you know the train set. Um, and not just pixels on a computer or on a phone or or, or, or something like that. Um, but anyways, that's it. I'm going to give you a real quick look at the uh, the train system, uh, what I've got done. Uh, it, it's it's quite a bit. I actually got quite a bit done. I'm, I'm really proud of it. I'm going to switch over to it. I know I'm, I'm getting old. I'm getting really old. Um, and, then, and then we're done. So let's look at the train system real quick, and then I'll say my goodbyes. All right, guys. So last time... This shelf was just empty. There was there was nothing on it. I've got tracks to it now. I've got some bridges built here. I've got one there. Uh, and I finally, just within the last couple days, I've got a track all the way to the top. So from the bottom, up the grade, up to the shelf, my switchback, up along the wall, across that long bridge, and then up to the top shelf is what I've got done in the past, uh, what's it, 10 months? I think it was about 10 months ago when I first started doing the bench work. Um, and I, I I could probably pull up the exact date, but it doesn't matter. Um, like I said, there's, there, there, there's no time set on this. It just, it is what it is. And like I said before, if it takes six, eight years, 10 years to, to get done, I don't care. Like, it's just something just to kind of mess with. Uh, for those that want to see what I've got, um, I've got some 60s, some SD60s here. Well, an SD60, uh, the the older style one here, and then uh, down here the SD60M, uh, which is I guess the newer version. Uh, that's what I'm running. These are the two that uh, I ordered. I talked about at the end of the other video. I ordered them in April. I actually got them <clears throat> shortly after the update video in September. I think mid September I, I actually got the uh, the engines. And then the cars here I picked up over, you know, the, the next couple months after that, I picked those up. The center beam was really hard to find. Those are hard to find. Um, but I lucked out and actually found that at a local train store. Um, and then I found, you know, like I said, just a couple more. And the reason being is because I needed to know how long the train was going to be on this shelf, um, you know, how the tracks were going to be laid out. I, I, and I got some cheaper cars here 
from the original set that I had, um, but the uh, the couplers on it don't match the, the new train. So I changed out a couple of those so that I could pull them around and kind of get an idea. Oh, I've got some uh, some other ones down here too, some BNSF ones um, that my dad gave me. And I put some decoders in them. I've got one there and I've got one that, that's not on the layout right now. It's, uh, I think it's, I think it's up top. I don't know where it is. Oh, it's up there. Uh, but I've got another one up there. I, I don't even know what those are. I can't even remember. 4400s, I think 4400 AC, I think is that one. And I can't remember what the other one is. Uh, but anyways, I got the, the, the tunnel, tunnel portal, somewhat painted. Uh, I, I still got to work on it. Uh, I finished the wiring as far as getting it for the up here. That way I can run the train. Uh, let's see. Over here, I still haven't closed this in because I had to get to the wiring and there's still some work that I want to, you know, I may have to do in there. So I don't want to finish off that mountain quite yet. Um, this was the kit bash that I was talking about. Basically, I took this uh, Central Valley kit here. I did the double that I, uh, I told you I had just ordered in the September video. Uh, I finished that. I've got some weathering, some basic weathering on it. Um, I'm not 100% happy with it yet. I don't know um, if I want to do like a salt technique on it or, or what. Um, but it's not quite finished. I don't even have the tracks glued down on the bridge yet. They're just kind of sitting there um, because I want to be able to take that off and be able to weather the entire bridge and then glue it down. None of the track from here is actually glued down. This around here is glued, and so is that, and so is that, because it's a permanent part. It cannot move. It can never change. That's, that's where it has to be. Um, but the bridges, right now, everything, you know, I can lift it out. I can move the uh, the little fish plates is what the, you people across the pond, you people. <laughs> the connecting pieces here, I can slide them back and then pull the bridges out for now. Uh, I have not figured out a way to make these removable. If I cut them here, then I've got no power to the bridge on either side. I can take them out, but I've got no power. And I just haven't figured out how to do that yet without drilling some holes uh, through the abutments and then running some wires up underneath and making some kind of a quick disconnect where I can take these out. Uh, but anyways, there's the single one back here. And then I took two of those kits and I made this one here. And uh, so by the time I got to this one, um, I'm kind of kind of a bridge expert. <laughs> they all turn out really good, really nice kits. Um, a little expensive, uh, but uh, it, it was, I mean, it is the the core of the operation here in uh, in the train room. Without this, the train's not running. Uh, so that's why I had to get these bridges done. I had to get them in, and I had to get everything working. Now that I know it does, I can do a little tweaking, like I'm doing here. I'm doing a little bit of shimming. Uh, cause I'm getting a little bit of derailing right here where the switching's at just because it was just a little too sharp. Um, again, uh, because of the measurements are so precise by the time I got up here, I think I was off just about, uh, maybe, maybe a 16th of an inch, maybe. And that was just enough where on certain cars, like the brown one, I think it's the brown one. As soon as it hits that switch right here, it, it abruptly, it abruptly derails. Um, but I've taken care of that. It looks really, really good, um, and, it, and it runs fine. So uh, now that the testing is done there, uh, I can start working this way. And you can see I've got like a mesh made for the mountain. Um, this is going to have some rock interface, or rock interface, some rock outcroppings along here. Uh, like I mentioned, the sand patch grade has some, you know, a uh, really nice rock facing going into the western tunnel. Uh, so that's what that's going to represent. Uh, up here on top, I don't know if I'm going to kind of flatten that out yet. Um, like uh, for a, a farm, I want to have like a farm type setting either in this corner or that corner. And then up here will be the coal operations, um, some lumber, uh, some aggregate. I don't, I don't really know yet. I, I have I have no idea. And then like I had talked about this being all the switch yards down here with the turntable and all that. So that's the update on the train room, guys. That's what I've got done. And uh, moving around quite nicely I'm, I'm really happy with it like i said i was very excited the other day when i got the train up to the top shelf because that's been a you know kind of a big goal since i started this thing is the train had to get to the top shelf and back to the bottom shelf for this none of this was going to work it was all for nothing uh but it works and, and it works good like i said I've, I've switched some cars the other day i got to run the trains a little bit and it's really exciting 
and um <clears throat> and i'm just gonna keep moving forward with it thought about doing another channel for this but again i just i don't want the work i don't want the hassle um next update video uh i'll show it again so probably you know like i said mid midsummer i may do another update video or the end of the year you'll get a real good look at what i what i'm doing here like I said, unless something changes watch twitter watch facebook if i decide to maybe start another channel just for one you know once a month updates that's where i'll post it and i'll let you know people know uh but like always guys i really 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 appreciate those that are still watching that are that are still here uh again i know you guys are the core part of uh this community that i've built over the past eight years and i really really love you guys no homo and um we're I'll see you again. I, <laughs> you, you can't keep me away. I love making videos. I love I love doing what I do. Um, so I will be back. I will have something. I just don't know what it's going to be right now. Uh, but you guys have a great spring. Um, I will definitely talk to you before summer. And um, take care. Later.